all right so what's going on guys uh we're gonna do another different kind of you know informational video today we're gonna do uh one you know good you know site setup strat for one map each one you know site so we're gonna start off with armory on theme park i mean everybody typically knows how to play this you know you reinforce all your uh all your walls you know you put feed holes here typical stuff so now that all the walls are reinforced, let's talk about operators you should bring. Um, in my opinion, um, you know, I think a Goyo, Cade, Mute. You can bring either of those two, but sometimes it's good to bring both so you can have all of the walls. Um, Oryx and probably another Roamer, maybe like somebody with a shield. But let's get to finishing the rest of the setup. So most of the time you want to like, you'll end up playing with players that'll, you know, know how to set the site up and whatnot. But we also got to hold up top, you know, so they can't get hurt to at least waste some time. So what we want to do, you the only reason you want to have this reinforced so they can't get angles on you from outside the uh, cash balcony. So you can hold this and tuck while you're, you know, being safe. Now a lot of players use the reinforcements most of the time, but if you have extras, you want to use it on this cash wall into office. And I like to put my beepers if I'm ever playing Oryx, uh, on cash, and it really depends on how we play, because usually you only have two people up here. So, you know, I'll put one for the control drop. I'm going to put some head holes here. And, I mean, that's all you really need. I mean, you also want to reinforce this hatch. But, I mean, if you wanted to get, like, crazy with it, like, say they... Say they're not pushing cash, right? So you make it rotate top yellow. You know, you can put head holes here. You can put a shield here. You know, put feet holes over here. Just to create that, like, false pressure. And you can literally just play, like, box. And hold them from here. But, yeah, operator lineup, possibly, like I said, Goyo's a really good one, and I'll explain why. Goyo's good because you have four of his, you know, Goyo canisters. You could put two on each side, each door, because there's only two of the doors. Say they don't get breached, right? That is 40 seconds worth of fire on each door, right? Say there's only, like, 50 seconds left. You pop one, wait another five seconds, pop another. Not, like... You wait five seconds after that one's already burnt out, popping up. They only have five seconds to get in. And by then, you're already holding the cross. You know what I'm saying? On each door. If you know where they're coming from. But yeah, Goyo, like a roamer. Oryx is good for rotates. Uh, you need a Cade, Bandit, or Mute. Doesn't matter. Maybe you want somebody with a shield. You know, like a Frost. You know, for, you know, she can put uh, her traps like upstairs, you know, for the people that are roaming or anybody to your liking as long as you're comfortable with that operator but that is it for theme park so this one's gonna be on villa this is a particularly you only see this really in like you know comp and stuff this is like really going overboard I'm not saying that you have to you don't need you know strats and rank you know it, you most of the time they never work anyways you know what i'm saying so but you want to make your rotate on uh astro into trophy Put a reinforcement here. Put feed holes here. And the reason I'm castle is because th this is... You know, you can have your normal, like, head holes here, two reinforced here. But if you're, like, one more of an aggressive style, what you want to do is you... You're going to make rotates on either side. Right? And then you're going to castle off these. Castle off bathroom. You want to reinforce this single wall. And put head holes all across it. And then for your last castle, you're going to put it on Astro window. Now for your beepers, I put one bottom Astro and I put one inside closet just in case. But, I mean, this is really how it goes for a castle. You know, like, you have... You know, you can walk in and out. Hold this. Now, see, you want to bring, like, 
Oh, well, my... Um, mute is crucial. You need mute. Somebody with a shield for bricks right here. You know, maybe like a frost and Jaeger. So, you know, you can... You can have frost mat here. One for closet and one for bathroom. And then... So you can have her shield here with two ADSs. And then well, my will just like sit behind this shield and keep throwing well, my discs all over so they can't nade uh, in between here to get the person playing. And this really wastes a lot of time because if not, if they don't come here, they'll most likely do an across. And it's super easy to hold an across as long as you reinforce these two. You reinforce these two walls. Or you can get aggressive and put just one. You can put head holes here. But you want to put a mute here. And a mute on AV door. And then the last two mutes. You want to put. On your single reinforcement. And then one on bricks. But yeah. Operator lineup would be like castle. Mute. Jaeger. Wamai. Frost. I think that's a pretty good lineup. For uh. For this site. But yeah. That's one on villa. So our next one is going to be on Skyscraper. Now particularly, I saw this one in one of the latest Pro League matches. They actually, instead of putting the shield here, they played it here with a Goyo. With uh, two Goyo canisters here. And you'll reinforce this. Now this one is this wall is very biased. Some people like to put feet holes here, but I like to put an, a, a reinforcement so they can't wall bang you if you're playing inside tucked. You want to put a rotate on Geisha hallway into karaoke. It's up to you, but you can open this hatch. You want to put feet holes on the drum single wall and reinforce the the karaoke wall leading to the balcony. You also want to reinforce the single wall, so you can't get wall banged through it if they open up your wall uh, from karaoke. You also want to reinforce these two walls in T. Now after that, uh, I usually like to put head holes all across the wall. Not all the way across, but enough from where, you know, you can see from T in. Just so, you know, you can, you know, aggress from here. This is like a whole... You know, this is more of an opinion thing. Because sometimes this can hurt you more than it can help you. And uh, it's also good to bring somebody else with another shield. So you can play on top of shrine as well behind a shield. You know, throw smokes. But you uh, you also always want to like extend over to office. Because most of the time they'll... Nobody really directs anymore. And holding this side of the map is crucial to... You know, to keep that drum control and stuff like that. So you reinforce the minibar wall and you reinforce these two office walls. And after that, you want to put head holes here. You can open this hatch if you want to. Now, usually, so here, here's the lineup for this, right? Uh, personally, I'd bring a smoke, alibi, frost... Cade and the last can be like whoever you want but i like frost because frost can play over here with alibi you know put a frost mat here she can also i mean that's a second shield so she can use hers on um on shrine and they play that side until they know which you know direction they're coming from and you know smoke okay the la the fifth person will be goyo because Goyo is really good for, you know, blocking this off. You know, you can put a Goyo canister here. You know, if they uh, if they get info that they're playing, that they're going to end up coming up black. Which you can actually put Vert here for somebody to watch. If they're coming up, you know, they can see down. But it's good for him to play here with a shotgun on the stairs. And you can throw smokes at black too to keep them at bay. And you can always rotate, you know what I'm saying? Or there's Goyos here, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that's the site for Skyscraper. Alright, so this next one's on Cafe. So, we're gonna, you know, make a, a vault, a vaultable rotate into Bathroom. Reinforce both these walls off. 
Make a rotate on the right side if you're inside freezer. Reinforce off this wall. You'll reinforce this wall. And typically you'll make a rotate here. Like this will be a rotate, but a crouch one. Like on the right. You can put uh head holes up here so you can like jump up on here and you know have a weird angle on them. You come in here, you'll make head holes here. Reinforce this left side. A lot of people get this, you know, commonly like miss miss mistaken if they flip it and these are head holes you can literally see from here all the way down to the white door so they can have an angle and you can't push up right so here i mean yeah they can see you here but you have more of like a ratty area to you know be at if they try to take piano control you want to put head holes here a lot of people put feet holes but i prefer head holes because if you put head holes you can help, like if you have somebody playing like a 1.5, they can see it, they can see all of piano all the way from like, uh, heaven. And you also want to reinforce these two ticket walls. So after that's done, uh, you know, you typically want to bring out like a Jaeger, a zombie, mute, um, smoke, and, you know, probably like maybe a maestro or like a frost you know you can put a frost mat behind here but you want to have a shield here and the reason i'm playing a zombie is because you can actually hold down a piano by yourself pretty much so you know as long as you have the right you know keep a barriers up and you're protecting yourself you can um you can pretty much hold this by yourself as long as you have a Wamai behind a shield here, you know, throwing uh, his Wamai discs so you can't get hurt, you know, they, so you know you don't get naded or anything. But so yeah, you know, you'll put your mutes, uh, like, you'll put one here. If you put a mute here, it actually mutes off this entire, like, side of the wall so they can't get in there. And then you can put an extra one here. You, you can have, like, mute play here with a shotgun watching watching the drop. You know, you, uh, you, you can have, like, a Jaeger... To, an ADS here, a couple ADSs in here, maybe one for the skylight just in case they try to drop. Um, and you can also put a couple keepy barriers, like you can put one here, so they can't see you when you rotate through freezer. And you can put one there too, but you know you can get closer, you can back up, you can you know. But yeah, those are typically the kind of ops you want to bring for here. So that is it for cafe. So this one's going to be on clubhouse. Um, I'm playing castle because he's honestly really powerful for this map. So you'll put a rotate here. Reinforce this wall. You reinforce this wall. So on the gym window, they can't get a line of sight like fully into sight. You'll put feet holes here. Not that big, obviously. Reinforce off this wall. You'll make a, um, a vaultable rotate here. Reinforce off Jacuzzi. Now for Castle's part. You'll reinforce, you'll castle off Jim. Master. You'll castle off Con window. Let's go on to Logi. You'll make a vaultable rotate here. You'll reinforce this wall and that wall. Coming into Logi, you wanna make a rotate into gold. Okay. But typically you'll have it on this on like the inside of Logi, you know, if you wanna play a Mira, which is super OP. I like to put a beeper here, but you wanna put headless here. Open this hatch. Reinforce these uh, cash walls. And then you come over here. And you reinforce these cash walls. And this is really personal preference. But you'll castle this off on cash door. You'll make a rotate on red. 
you'll have somebody place a shield around here. You can put beepers here. You put a shield here. Put an ADS so they can watch this and rotate back if they need. These head holes are so you, the people in Master can support you. And that's the setup. And now for the operators, I think you should bring. I think you should bring a Jaeger Castle. Uh, somebody for the wall can be anyone. Um, Mira is really good unless she's banned. If not, maybe it can be anybody, really. It's all personal preference, but having somebody to make these holes is crucial. Maybe a mute, so they can't get this wall, and so they can't get this wall, too. But other than that, that is the clubhouse setup. So, we're going to do Chalet next, and this is going to be a bar games hold. I know it shows the objective is way over there, but don't even pay attention. So let's start by reinforcing off the single wall and sock and making head holes across these two these two single walls here. You want to reinforce this one. Alright, you'll want to reinforce this one. Make a rotation here. And I like to make feet holes here. And, like, reinforcing this is so that they can't get, like, if they open it, they can't have, like, lines of sight, you know, here, here, because this is pretty crucial. So, reinforce this single wall in dining. And, so, typically, you want to play uh, above the site on this one. So, uh, bring a frost, you know, or a smoke, wherever you want. You'll put a shield here. You'll have um, Wamai and Jaeger most of the time, so you'll put an ADS here, an ADS here, and have Wamai probably sit behind the shield so he can throw his discs all over the pillars. You'll want to reinforce these two library walls. Then you'll want to open up this entire head hole. Unless you want to have somebody playing here. So what you do is you reinforce this one. Make head holes all across here. Reinforce this one. And typically you'll have most likely two people with shields. You know, a frost, smoke, uh, alibi. And you'll put another one right here. So it blocks off, you know, them being hit from IV or the case window. And they can control library from here. But you'll want to open this hatch too. Because you're going to have somebody playing below in stock. And they're going to be watching the library jump in. I like Frost because, you know, she... You can have Frost mats here that covers, you know... Them jumping in. And you not, you know... Getting punished for it. But that is really the site setup. And, and in my opinion, I, the operators I think you should bring is Smoke, Frost, um, a Rooney, uh, a Zombie, and no, Smoke, Frost, a Rooney, Jaeger, Wamai. Those are my top three. You put, you'll put you put like an Aruni gate here. You'll put one possibly here. And one like maybe there. Just, you know, to burn. So, you know, you can't get naded from here as easy. Or you get this shield. And you can make some vert too for uh, snow stairs. To watch if they're trying to creep up on you. One more thing. We have to reinforce this single wall as well. If you don't reinforce this, they can, you know, open it up as a line of sight and get a cut all the way through here from the single window. And you can have somebody play in here too and just tuck. If they tuck, they can't be seen by it. that window, case window, or over here. So they can play here, but it's pretty dangerous. But yeah. But other than that, that is the chalet strap. So this one's going to be on border. Now, typically, you know, you do your normal holds. You'll reinforce armory off. Some people like to keep 
the right side open just in case I'm gonna do it but you know to keep them off your balcony and whatnot and you'll put feet holes here too never reinforce this ever a lot of people do it bro and a lot of people will tell you to do it but don't because it just gives them a free spot to plant and you can actually if you have somebody play below if they try to force through the the door you can actually get an angle on it from bottom workshop but let's keep it going so you want to make a rotate into fountain and into cc you'll reinforce this one And this one. Make head holes here. I like to put a beeper here. Make head holes all across here. Because typically, the oryx plays top east. Right? So there's, you know, you'll have oryx, azami, smoke, uh... We'll put a beeper here. You'll reinforce this one. Oryx, Azami, Smoke, um, Jaeger, Jaeger, and I think the last one can just be whoever you want. And you'll reinforce these two office walls. And make a rotate here. And then you'll reinforce off your archives walls. And you'll open this hatch. And that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want to put head holes here, you can, but it's bad for this. So, I mean, you'll have your shield here with ADSs, you know, to have this covered. Oh, I almost forgot. And assume your Asami is playing in CC. You'll put head holes all across here so she can aggress the people that are trying to play your armory balk. And sometimes she'll come out here and place barbed wire here, and if they hit it, she can run out and swing out on them. But she'll put a bear, uh, keep a barrier here. She'll put one here so they can't get a line of sight on her. And then Oryx will be holding top east, so they can't walk and break on a zombie. And he can just, you know, he has a lot of cover. And if he needs to back off, say they're pushing from here, you can just come through here. And then, you know, rotate back into sight safely. But yeah, that's one on border. Peace. Alright, so this one is going to be on Oregon. We're going to reinforce the two games walls. We are going to come over to Attic and make head holes here. Reinforce the single wall. And we're going to place Smoke's shield backwards on this door. But try to make it to where there's no gap. Like that. Because if you place it backwards, it gives you more room, and you can see through it clear. And it gives you a super neat line of sight here. And you can throw the smokes at the door if you need to. You want to make it rotate into kids from attic. Reinforce the single wall. And you want to reinforce the back attic walls. Open this hatch. Reinforce this far left wall on the kids wall make feed holes all across here but make it a little big enough to where you can make it a kind of a rotate open this hatch and you want to make a rotate on white into games now this reinforcement is crucial because if you guys have seen it in my other videos you can actually get a line of sight all the way from the rappel through this wall into pit so reinforcing this is actually really beneficial now if you want to get aggressive and all that you can make feet holes here and if you play inside you know you can actually see like them walking up main from inside uh the game single door looking from trophy down to the main stairs and uh in master now, in time for the lineup, I think you should bring Smoke, Mute, Goyo, um, probably another operator for for wall denial, and maybe like a trap operator, or actually Malusi, so you can put a Malusi on white stairs, 
one here and one like there next to stacks so you you know you have that audio cue now the mute is great because you can mute off the wall you can put a mute here on trophy you can mute off white and if you guys really wanted to get aggressive you can put a mute here and it gets all of this and you can actually play inside the closet close to the shotgun Other than that, that's the Oregon one. And that will probably be the last one, so I hope you guys liked it. And if you made it this far into the video, comment comment um Apple Salad. Uh but other than that, uh I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you you know mess with the video. Uh I know these are different, you know, other than the clips, but I'm trying to, you know, throw some different kinds of content out there. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.